ladies and gentlemen I decided as of five days ago or so right about uh, 7 p.m. probably uh, that I want to live off-grid and when I got the download something here some energy right here in the heart in the solar plexus just surged upwards just shot upwards and I have to say this has been coming this has been coming and I think it has been probably on May 21st 20 or 21st 2016 when I uh, first took mushrooms and I had this uh, like never ever in my life this connection with nature uh, where I started to call nature home I was like this is home and then and then and then I was like I was looking because I did it with friends I was like guys why are we why are we not here all the time and so that happened over and over and over every almost almost every time or every other trip I would say the exact same thing I would be like oh, this is home why am why are we not here all the time I wouldn't even say why am I not here all the time. I would be, I would say why am I, why are we not here all the time? You know, because you know you sort of zoom in and you see things from like a, a greater perspective, and you think of of we, right? So I was like, why are humans? Why why is there civilization? Why it's why is that happening? Why are there so buildings and stuff where people work? I was like, we belong here. Where this is home. So I suppose this has been coming. And uh, traveling for the last six months, visiting four different countries, different cities, different places within the countries, uh, only reinforced what has already been clearly the path ever since, ever since that day, about four years ago. So the decision, I, I suppose that final download that was like, all right, you just got to do this, was, you know, again, five days ago. I went for this uh, hike, five hour hike uh, in like pretty much just uh, secluded nature, raw, I'm talking raw nature guys. I mean this is, everything is nature, we are always in nature, S cities are nature, just manipulated, oh, you know, to the human, human in in intervened, right, H human intervention creates cities, creates civilization, still inside nature, inside what is, just heavily processed. Okay, heavily processed. Dried mangoes are still dried mangoes, but processed water is taken out of them. And then you go even further. Candy is basically like fruit candy, let's say, uh, is processed fruits. Just a bunch of things are added to it and water is drained out of it and, you know, etc. So cities is still nature. I'm talking raw. Like this is nature, right? I'm, I'm in nature and look trees all around nice resort very quiet at night but it's again it's not it's a degree a few degrees below i'm talking raw so there's resorts there's like uh huts and wood and many people and bikes over there motorbikes and you know there's boats on the beach and kids playing frisbee over there and uh so it's all in degrees, right? The purity, the degree of purity I'm talking about. So when I say, when I, when I use the term nature in this video, uh, I am talking about the purest uh, or as pure as you can get, as close to the source, the way it is. Okay, that's, that's what I'm talking about here. Let's... Okay, I think it's good. So, uh, I went for the hike, five-hour hike. And that was the best day I had in the island. I've been here for a month now. That was the best day, not just in the island for the last month, probably for the last three, four months. That was the best day I had, for sure. That, it was just uh, so beautiful. I, I was so serene. I was so empty too. I had only drank juices. I think I was on day eight or day nine. I broke it, but I was, you know, high up, getting high up on the juice fast. And uh, so it was nice. So the hike, it was like, oh, it's such a beautiful day. Then I came back here and I was like, it just, I was in so such a flow state and such a serene and empty. My mind was empty, so I was able to receive what I'm supposed to receive. And then uh, I did a little humming around evening. 
And I, this vision just started popping up in my head out of nowhere, in this out of emptiness, out of out of uh, inactivity. You know, Lao Tzu says in the Tao Te Ching, "Can you remain unmoving until the right action arises by itself?" And that's what he means. I was so calm and empty and serene. I started to see these visions. Right, I had the blindfold on. It was nighttime, serene, beautiful. I just, you know, was in raw nature, hiked, oxygenated the body, uh, empty. You know, empty in, in the bowels are empty and everything. And I was like, ah, uh, I start to see this vision. And then I, I start to see myself just so, like in the middle of the jungle, just land around me, trees around me. As far as the eyes can see, no neighbors, nothing. And I was like getting really excited about it. And um, then I get up and I just start to go on YouTube and I start to do some research, off-grid, this and that. And I go down the rabbit hole and I was like, wow, lots of people are doing it. Huh. You know, and then, you know, you see others do it. So it, it makes it easier in your head too. It makes it easier. Like, yeah, I could do this too. So for the last five days, I've been really, really contemplating the matter, doing some research and really just it's all I've been thinking about the last five days. It's all I have been contemplating. That's all I, my entire life has just been now for the last five days focused on this, on this idea, on this project. Let's call it a project. OK. Uh, and some fruits came out of the seed. The seed was the initial vision. And well, the fruits I, were still in the seeding phase, actually. Yeah, it's still the seed. Uh, but I'm, I already, because it's all in the now, I already see and taste, I already taste the fruit, let's just say, okay? So I will share with you the project and uh, you can be part of it too. I uh, know some of you guys will be part of it too. And I will also share with you practical. It's always practicality, folks. It's always a practicality, you know, if you followed my videos that as philosophical and metaphysical and theoretical as we do get in these videos, I very much am always thinking and applying and practicality, practicality. Like a year and a half ago, I, I said, I'm going to move to Thailand. And then I said, how am I going to, I'm going to, uh, how am I going to do this practically? And here I am six months, right? You've got to always follow up. You know, you got to talk the talk, sure, but you walk the walk. So the walking is already in progress, and I will share with you here. Uh, I don't want to, there's a lot of things I want to share here. I don't want to miss any of them. I think I made a little bit of notes here. So, uh, okay. Right. So let's lay out the project for you guys here. And there's two versions of the project. Uh, two versions simply because I... Uh, would like to be one of them let's call it total self-reliance meaning uh, and when i mention self-reliance let's just say okay let's call one the lone wolf project and let's call the other version of the project the wolf pack version so there's two versions and i'm totally open for both totally happy just as happy with one or the other just as happy okay so lone wolf version that's version one of the project and wolf pack that's version number two so let's uh, go through the version number one of the project uh is to buy this is for version one to buy 10 hectares of land uh one hectare is the size of a football field that's your reference point okay so 10 football fields together think of it if you want to visualize it in your head to buy 10 hectares of land let's say five to ten Maybe 10 is, is going to be a little bit too much, uh, but maybe not. You know, I, pro I lean more towards 10, actually, the more the merrier. Somewhere so secluded that even if you had directions to it, you would find it difficult to get there. I, this is a line I got from someone I was watching his videos. He, he's into off-grid uh, living. He lives off-grid, and he, that's his description of his cabin. So the description was uh, whenever I give a friend the, the directions to it, they, they're still lost. I have to go get them. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I said, when I heard it, I was like, yep, that's, the, that's exactly the place I have in mind. So, let's say 10 hectares of land, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, that's 10 football fields. Now, where? Where do you ask? Uh, Central America or South America? These seem to be the, the places that are open for foreigners to buy land. And it seems to be where a lot of Westerners, Americans and Canadians, 
go and start these projects if they would like you know uh, off-grid living some people obviously lots of people do it now in the states and in canada and even bitter coldness the guy i was watching today he's uh, from canada so his place is up north it's cold uh and uh, there's a big smile on his face because he's living happily so anyway uh seems to be popular ecuador costa rica belize nicaragua i have a friend there uh, who can actually help me with this and she's involved with this kind of stuff with this kind of work so anyway that's for later that that's the technical where and how you gotta go on ground and actually see this stuff and see the lands and get codes and prices but th this is the initial idea it would be central america or south america and uh, the costs or let's say the budget sorry the budget that i have for the lone wolf version is 50,000 US dollars. 50,000 US dollars will comfortably, uh, from my research that I have done so far, will comfortably buy, because the, the funny thing, the, the funny thing about it is the further you go away from civilization, the cheaper the land is. Because nobody wants to be there, right? So that's what's funny about it. So actually it's uh, 50,000 is quite a, quite a handsome budget and I want to live handsomely, okay? I want to be able to, again, live spaciously, live handsomely live well and uh, have my space I really do so 50,000 US dollars is a generous generous budget okay for for 10 hectares of land and then building you want to build your stuff I mean this is your land you do whatever you want on it and build a mansion if you'd like you could build a symbol hut you could build uh, a bunch of huts it's up to you what you want to do you know so uh, but 50,000 for uh, a lone wolf for one person, which is, you know, yours truly here, is quite quite a budget. It's 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 solid budget, a very solid budget to, let's say, buy the land, buy 10 hectares in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a jungle or some hills or some mountains uh, in Central or South America. And enough to the idea that I have in mind right now is a uh, freestanding bungalow but not like these are small bungalows right see these, these are small bungalows like a, you know if i show you my bungalow very very simple very very simple okay so this bungalow like, is very you see very simple right just a bed that's it just a bed and, and a bathroom right so my idea is to to build a bungalow there uh that is big so just as simple as this one, like simplicity, you know, simple, like simple material and everything, simple, simple. Uh, but probably, you know, like 10 to 20 times this, like just spacious somewhere, uh, you know, you can just space is your space, right? Sacred space, you know, big. So if I have guests over, you know, they could just get a sleeping bag and, and sleep on the floor. You know, I'll be sleeping on the floor. Uh, just I want space just a freestanding simple bungalow right with the pyramid shape uh, design we'll get some specifics on that uh, we'll make sure we'll build it in a way in probably like a pyramid actually a, a pyramid like we'll get somebody who knows about this stuff and so the the idea is to make it a very sacred space like very very sacred this is gonna be a very sacred spot this is gonna be where I live for God knows how long right this is gonna be my home and I want as much space and I want it to be as simple as possible, right? And built in a way that channels a lot of energy uh, and puts the place in a certain frequency, certain vibration. Of course, we'll also build it and shape it inside in a certain way that maximizes and makes the place as high frequency as possible. Uh, and we'll have some pictures of, you know, some... Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean, sacred place. So you make it as sacred as you can and however you feel like. And as for food, well, right now I consume mostly liquids, juices, not water. I'm not at that level. But I would say right now 50 to 60% of my consumption is juices. I would say on average every other day I just go juices. Uh, and 
so there's a very good chance that uh, because the, the timeline for this project is three to five years so there's a very good chance by then I'm just a Walterian you know but if I am not and it doesn't matter whether I am or I am not uh, I will grow banana trees papaya trees if I'm still eating then I will eat them if not that'll be for my guests so I will grow them anyway but very simple this isn't gonna be permaculture spot for me or anything like that uh, just a few trees you know again for for me if I'm still eating then which again if probably unlikely but for my guests so I will grow them anyway uh, and uh, then uh, we'll grow some uh, ayahuasca and uh, iboga right iboga I, I know ayahuasca is different ingredients so we'll make sure we get all these ingredients we will be near the Amazon most likely after all and uh, so the cyber mushroom so that that'll be so it'll be basic the things that I'm gonna grow are gonna be basic both in in quantity and in variety okay uh, so that'll be easy that won't require too much work because my work is gonna go towards other things this this is like my Yoda spot like basically you know how Yoda like Yoda's hanging out in, in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the jungle right doing his Yoda shit and that's I'm gonna be doing my Yoda shit there you know levitation all that kind of stuff so uh, food isn't exactly a priority growing as many trees and, and stuff like that and, and it's not a priority for me and again most of this will be for my guests well except for the other stuff that'll mostly be for me so that I can learn how to levitate uh, the psychoactive stuff anyway so uh, that's it it's very simple just lots of land lots of trees in the middle of nowhere no neighbors for God knows how how much you know basically Yoda think of you like I, this is my this is my Yoda spot like Yoda like Luke Skywalker goes to the middle of nowhere just to meet Yoda basically basically uh, we'll make we'll learn how to use solar for basic stuff like right now the electricity that I use because there'll be no kitchen there'll be no bathroom There'll be no bathroom, neither, because why would I need a bathroom? Uh, no shower. No sh I, mean, I haven't showered in a, in a month. I just go uh, jump in the sea or in a waterfall. Not every day, maybe every other day, I'm definitely getting some exposure to natural water. I, don't, I, haven't, I literally haven't showered for a month, literally. It, it's been almost a month since I've been in the island. I haven't taken a single shower here, okay? So uh, this is the only electricity that I need. It's a very small amount. Like that's all I use right now, for, just to charge my iPad and my phone. That I don't need any, I do not use any electricity. So the place will be very simple and actually, that's why I say $50,000 is a very handsome budget. Very handsome budget for this project. Which is fine because you know, it's all we'll need is, is, a, is a, 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 for that, in that bungalow that, I, that I'm describing, the freestanding with big size, it's just one or two, maybe two, two sockets uh, and We'll see what we can do by using solar for that. And um, that's about it. No need for kitchen, no need for water inside. Uh, obviously, the place, the 10 hectares, will make sure there is a well on, on this land or a river or somewhere where you can drink water from. Water is basically the only thing, and that's obviously without a, without a question, you know, that'll be a priority as... I begin to look for the land as I actually go in in person and I begin to look for for the land uh, so a well or a river or some water source close you know that's really all that is pretty much required solar some solar energy for for electricity just to charge up the electronics and internet obviously which I hear now you could do it solar I have no idea we'll look into that when the time comes right and that's really about it. <laughs> yeah, that's really about it. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll need more electricity because I want some sound, some powerful sound system there. I'm going to be doing lots of dancing and lots of singing and lots of drumming, drums and, you know, oh, music. Yeah, that's going to be like jungle parties 24-7, day and night. Okay, so we'll actually need more electricity. So we'll look into solar and all that stuff when the time comes, right? We'll make sure it's as sustainable as possible and as self-sustaining as possible, the project, you see? 
Uh, so what else can I think of here? <coughs> hmm. Yeah, and, and as far as the internet, again, I hear there are alternative ways now to get plugged into the internet. You could use solar, blah, blah, blah. I don't know anything about that stuff. So that's the basic plot for the Lone Wolf project. Okay, so that's the Lone Wolf. That's just, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, what else? Did I miss something here? Okay, so let's talk now about the Wolfpack version, and that's version number two. And that would be with other people. This would be carrying this project, but with other people. So my idea, oh, no. So I forgot actually a, a part of the Lone Wolf project, the version one. So once that's done and I'm there and I'm just doing my thing, the next part of the project will be to buy maybe, or do it on 10, 10 hectares of big land do just do it on the same same strip uh, is to build a community house okay and now that community house because then I'll have guests over lots of guests and retreats and stuff like that that will have more of your daily comfortable amenities not necessarily fully but you know what I mean if I'm gonna host retreats there and they're gonna be like a week-long retreat or something then, you know, I want my guests to be as comfortable as they can. So we'll have uh, possibly individual rooms there. Uh, maybe maybe some bathrooms, basic, basic, very basic. Uh, or maybe part of the retreat is to learn how to defecate and uh, urinate in the woods. So maybe we will not have bathrooms. I don't know. You know, maybe I, maybe I will. Maybe that's part of it is coming here and being a total oneness with nature and as simple as possible. So maybe the community house will just be a bungalow that's like even bigger, you know, so you can have as many people. And maybe the way you maybe there isn't even any need for rooms, maybe just uh, sleeping bags. And, you know, it's such a large space so it can fit 10, 20 people. Even if the retreat is got 20 people, then everybody can just sleep on the ground. Pro actually, I, I, I continue to lean more towards simplicity, right? Reduce and reduce. Uh, if, if you want to gain knowledge, learn daily. If you want to obtain Tao, reduce daily. Reduce and reduce until all action comes to an action. Then when nothing is done, nothing is left undone. And I lean towards simplicity as I, as I grow in age and I suppose as I grow in wisdom. So perhaps we'll keep it as simple as possible. Also, it'll actually keep the cost down if anything. Maybe I have a kitchen. We'll have a kitchen there, right? If you A juicer if you want to juice and, and you want to eat off the trees there and everything. Uh, I won't be doing much planting myself, but maybe when one of my guests come, comes over who likes to plant, I can get him to plant more trees around the premise for for the guests. So the community house will be the next part of the project once I'm there and I'm settled in and I'm doing my Yoda shit and I'm flying and I'm you know having all kinds of uh, weird extraterrestrial experiences and stuff. Uh, then I'll be like, all right, community house. I want to host retreats here. So that'll be the next part of the project is on the same premise. 10 hectares is large, large land, right? Large land. So on the same premise, no need to buy more lands or anything like that. Will be the community house. And again, that's for my guests and for the, for the retreats. So that can easily easily according to the research that I have done and I've done quite a bit of it in the last five days believe me I've been very obsessed with this I'll probably shut off this video after and uh, watch some more off-grid stuff been obsessed man so $50,000 will cover that project no problem like no problem at all like at all especially with the simplicity of the bungalows that we're talking about here uh, no problem at all so that's uh, the version number one Version number two, version number two is the Wolfpack version, basically. And guys, keep in mind, all of this is like the initial, 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 initial draft. Okay, so don't take it as, don't, don't, don't think everything that I said here, that's going to be how the project's going to get carried out, right? F impossible. 
impossible. So I'm just giving you here the initial, this is literally the initial, 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 super initial times initial squared to the initial, to the squared of initial draft. So the version number two is to have uh, maybe three other partners in this project. Up to, let's say up to, let's say one, between one, let's say three more, up to three. So another one or two, so up to four people in the project. So there's one person, up to four. And for each additional partner that comes in, for each additional person that wants to do this, that wants to be part of this project, that wants to commit to the project, will be an additional 10 hectares. And so even when I do my lone wolf project, I will keep in mind, and it's gonna be in the middle of nowhere, and I'll keep in mind when I buy the land and I, and I uh, implement the project, I will keep in mind that this can be expanded. I'll make sure that it can be expanded up to 50 hectares. I'd make sure that the other lands just beside me can also be bought at any later date so that at any time, if I want to move into the Wolfpack version, that can be possible. So for each additional partner, for each additional person, 10 hectares. I want to give each person, each partner, their sweet ass space. Okay, that's uh, that's the idea that I have in mind. Is you have your in your sovereignty, you know. It's so so ten hectares is a lot of space and a lot of land and a lot of you can make as much sound as you want. Have your own jungle party at night and not bother the other partners. You see. Uh, so that's why I say for each additional partner would be about ten hectares of land. So. And then you could do whatever you want in your land. You know, you don't have to be a breatharian to do this stuff, right? You, you could just, you could play, you could come in and, and do whatever you want. You know, you just, as long as you're, you know, you're not killing animals, period. As long as you're not killing and eating animals. This has, you know, there's certain rules and certain ground rules, right? Uh, but yeah, you could, uh, you could do, you could grow p potatoes if you want to, if you like potatoes. You could, uh, you know, grow potatoes fruits, bananas, papayas, whatever you want. It's your land. You do whatever you want in it, right? You're, that's the whole point, <laughs> okay? So for each partner, an additional 10 hectares. And um, up to three other people. So up to four, four people in total. And yeah, you would run it. You want to build a mansion there? By all means, you want to build a simple little hut? By all means, right? It, it depends on on what your uh, what your gig is. So I would say this: I would say that a partner, the budget that a partner should have in mind, is fifty thousand U.S. dollars. Okay, that's that's the budget. Again, that's I'm taking into account the land itself, and I'm taking into account building something building like a shelter and I'm taking into account all the additional costs because you're probably going to want to have like a, a, a mode a modality of transportation maybe a little bike like a, a motorbike or something like that uh, I'm looking into see if there's like solar powered motorbikes or something like that you know but there probably is and stuff like that but anyway that's all for later but you know you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying here uh, you want to have a modality of transportation. So it's going to be like costs, you know, addition, in, in additional costs, like a cost for pyramid, cost for this, cost for that. Uh, you know, if you're, I'm going to get a builder to do this for me, right? So it's, that's going to cost. But again, if it, the simpler it is, the simpler the design, the simpler the materials, stuff like that, the cheaper it is. Uh, and yeah, so I would say $50,000 is also the budget that a partner should have in mind if, you want to be part of this. And uh, yeah, up to four people. And um, if, if, if this project gets implemented from the get-go as a Wolfpack version, then we all contribute to the community house once we build our own places in our own land. Then we both come together and we share the costs for the community house. The $50,000 
I'm not including the community house costs. I'm just saying this is for your land, for your place, and all the additional costs you're gonna wanna have. Again, the modality of transportation. You're gonna have to probably buy some tools if you're growing and stuff like that. And you know what I mean, it's a process. You know, The cost for you going into these different countries to explore, to see, to ask around, this is, you know, $50,000 seems reasonable. And, uh, and then, you know, the community house would follow. So, I know some of you guys are interested because uh, I mentioned this idea to uh, a few of you. Uh, and uh, it was just like, um, you know, I was through Instagram, we were having a conversation and I mentioned some of you guys. And you get like, there was a lot of interest in it. So I know some of you guys are interested. Now, it would be you guys. That would be the partners. It would be right, right here, you watching. It, I am almost certain, actually, that it, the, the partners that would come into this project would be from this audience, from this YouTube, for you guys, who else, right, who else? So, now how long will this take? What is the timeline that I have in mind? And how am I going about this? So, I'm already, uh, prep I'm already ready to do this, the lone wolf version, okay? And I, I would be just as happy, go check out my video, Fuck Society, I would be just as happy with both versions, honestly, authentically. I would be just as happy with both. Just as happy with doing this, the lone wolf version or the wolf pack version. So and I'm already implementing this practically and I will share with you how I am doing it. So, the, the projected timeline for this is three to five years. And I'm going to take the upper end and say five years. Okay, but it's three to five. And uh, so, three to five years, $50,000. Okay, so three, $50,000 in three to five years. And then the beginning of the implementation, the actual practical implementation of, of this project. The way I'm going on about it is, in May, I am going to Istanbul, Turkey. Why am I going to Istanbul, Turkey? Because I'm lucky enough and blessed enough because everything is perfect and the divine gives you everything. The force gives you everything that you need once you're fully aligned with the force. Like, uh, like uh, what happened is five days ago when I had the idea and I started to play around with it and I started to change my plans and I was like, all right, I gotta make more money now. I, it's gonna be a grind. I swear to you, this is what happened. This is what happened the same day. The same day I was like, all right, I'm doing this. I'm going to pick up more shifts. I'm going to work more. I'm going to do this. The same day, I was teaching English here for the kids outside, right here, right here, on this chair. Then as soon as I was done, this family that lives there with their kids came up to me and said, oh, you teach English? Uh, I said, yeah. I said, we want you to teach our kids. We had our first lesson today. You see? First lesson today, and I'm teaching four more next week. And... Uh, if they like it, they will. They want to continue on doing this online. Can you believe it? Same day that I decided to do this, and I decided to pick up more shifts, and I decided, okay, God, okay, force. Now I'm plugging in more money for the project. I'm going to work more. I'm going to do this more. Same day. That's how you know. That's how you know when something like that happens. You know the force is saying, the force is with you. Like it's an approval from the force. Like yeah, yeah go down that road like we're, we're here to help like uh, you know we're here to help so we like what we like this we like this line of thought we like the project we like the idea here here so this is a perfect sign right perfect sign so i'm going to istanbul in this this coming may so in uh, three months uh we have a family house there so no money for rent no transportation, it's on the beach. There's a beach there. It isn't as glamorous as Seiko Pangan, but it's a beach. Hey, I'm not complaining, quiet area. It's like a, it's a residential area, but quiet, very upscale, very beautiful. I've seen videos and pictures of it, very, very beautiful. Very perfect for this kind of work, actually, right? So I'm gonna be living in uh, Istanbul. From now on, that will be my base in the family house. Uh, and so that'll be half the year, maybe more, maybe up to nine months, eight, nine months. And then the other three months, I'll be in Bulgaria, Bansko, spending the summers there. It's a mountain town, very, very cheap in the summer. And uh, 
again no transportation for me no motorbike nothing like that right now it's the time to bring the funds together and implement this project right no more traveling here and there yes there is Istanbul is doesn't have much sunlight in the winters blah 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 I don't care once you get something a mission that you, you you're so resonating with that's it it just blows everything out of the window uh, and uh, so I'll be between Istanbul and Doha because my parents my family lives in Doha so I'll head there in uh, January February when it when it gets really gloomy in Istanbul and just hang out there in Doha plenty of sunshine all year round there so whenever I miss my son I call mama I say mama I'm coming mama says hello mama, mama's always happy if any of her kids are around her right so actually I talked to my mom about this and she was quite happy about it because I'm gonna be around around the family a lot so this there you know there was uh, it's it's nice in that way so uh, yeah so for me just that alone no no transportation costs no rent costs uh, I mean my I mean my car I basically I'll just be saving a few hundred dollars each month for flights if I'm going from Istanbul to Doha from Doha to Istanbul from Istanbul to Bansko you know what I mean visa costs which you know in Istanbul we can set it up in a way where I could be there for a long time in uh, just without having to do visa runs or anything uh, so beautiful beautiful I'm so grateful so blessed to have that opportunity there for me to to so that I could do this so my base will be Istanbul and Doha for about nine months of the year three months in Bansko in Bulgaria and uh, that's gonna be my life for the next uh, few years until the funds until the fifty thousand dollars here so that combined with now teaching more so I'm taking up more more classes but I'm not uh, the, the beautiful thing about you know God bless God bless the force the beautiful thing about this is I still don't have to work much it's just gonna be two to three hours a day that's it just two to three hours a day online right so I still get the rest of the day to go on a walk in the beach and uh, when I'm in Istanbul or uh, go for hikes in the mountains when I'm in Bansko or go sunbathe when I'm in Doha right so it's still plenty of time for meditation hang out with the family when I'm around the family uh, plenty of time to make videos to read books you know so I'm not, it's, it not there's no stress because the costs are so low and uh, the pay is God bless very handsome twenty dollars an hour USD Twenty dollars an hour, so it's uh, you know it's it's a it's a win-win situation, uh, and um, yeah, because I, I want to still have fun while I'm uh, putting this project together, and of course in this time period, the next few years, I will be heavily researching, you know, doing some research, contacting some people, and etc. Uh, etc. Et getting as much information as I can, gathering as much as I could. Uh, and possibly in a year or two head down to maybe Ecuador and check some stuff out there once I have a better idea uh, or maybe Nicaragua make a trip there just to see how things are uh, and uh, yeah the, that's you know the project it's it's on like it's uh, you know it's it's practically on now and in fact I uh, ran through some expense sheets so I'm already this month plus 700 in the bank so I'm, I'm uh, setting a certain I, I certain things guidelines in my head that I have to be uh, I meet a certain surplus every month so this past month actually I'm at plus 700 and I ran through the the expense sheets and I will be a I will probably go in February plus 500 it's expensive here in Copangan so next three months I won't be in too much of a surplus each month but um, moving forward, when I go to Istanbul in May, and then I, I sort of, uh, you know, I'll be in Istanbul, Bansko, Doha for the next, I don't know how long, until the funds are together. But uh, they, it, we can go up in a surplus. So I'm setting a certain thing in my head. Okay, I'm going to meet a certain surplus each month to build up the funds, right? So it's already in progress. We're already at a plus. You know, the, the project has already effectively started. The journey to fifty thousand dollars U.S. dollars is already on. It's already it's already commenced. You see, so the momentum has already begun. It's already kick started, uh, and the practical steps are in motion. You see, 
uh, and like I said, I am just as happy with uh, either versions. So now, here's another thing. Very important. If you made it up until here, you're very interested. But also, how, how can you help this? How can you help to see through this project? Because I will, I will take it as far as the community house. This isn't just for me. It starts with for me, my doing my Yoda thing. But also, it is for you guys, for community house, right? I if we have a community house there, I mean, you know, and you guys help fund it. I mean, we we've, we we got Patreon. That's part of the help, right? If you guys help fund it, you know, I would love, I would absolutely love you guys to come and have the retreats and hang out and chill and stay long term even if they can once the community house is up and running and you say you have a project you want to work on but you want somewhere somewhere to stay for rent free and stuff like we can help yeah i can help because you help because you know so if you can also help and i really want to throw my gratitude out there for the patreons right uh but yeah that's uh, basically uh that's bas basically you can help so the, how can you help well you can help in another way also if you want to host me if you want to host me okay now let me tell you something I'm loud I'm annoying okay so if, but if you want to host me if you've got if you've got a place uh, anywhere in the world you can host me for see like a minimum of three months yeah you know see, see yeah I, I'm like I'm what an asshole what an asshole like I'm here I am here you want to host me well it's got to be minimum three months yeah it's like it's just an asshole right but I'm saying if you want to help uh, and if you've got a place uh, nice spacious place see an asshole again you got a nice spacious place uh, and uh, you'd like to host me for because why why minimum three months minimum three months because uh, because if I'm going to I, I'm minimizing expenses here I'm becoming as frugal as I've ever been in my life right why because I don't I if I'm gonna pay flights if let's say you're all the way in New York for example you've got a, a nice house or a nice apartment in New York and you say hey man and you know come here yeah, let's come come hang out here for uh, for for some time uh, well I'm gonna have to pay flights if let's say I'm in Istanbul and I'm gonna fly to New York that's gonna cost me money so if I'm gonna come to New York it's gonna be a minimum of three months you know, because it, for me to not lose too much money, if it's just going to be for a month, then I got to get back to Istanbul. There goes all the profit margin right there. There goes all the surplus that I'm I'm trying to build in uh, in in from month to month. So if you want to host me, uh, and uh, again, I'm loud, I'm annoying, I'm noisy. I also teach kids, and I'm loud when I teach them, and uh, I make videos. So you know what I mean. I'm just putting it out there. You gotta you gotta comes with the package. Uh, if, the, if you want to help that way, I mean, I, I don't mind, you know, I, I don't mind. Uh, that, would, that would be kind of nice, that'd be kind of cool, right? I mean, again, I got a place, so it's, there's Istanbul and there's Doha and Bansko is dirt cheap in the summer. I already got the places, but I'm open. I'm open. If it's uh, if I'm open to go somewhere and, and hang out with, with uh, one of you guys for three months, right? Maybe longer, if you, if you want to host me even longer, that'd be nice, right? Uh, yeah, so if you would like to host me, Instagram, Said Mobayed, follow there, send me a message, please, please, guys, God bless you all, serious inquiries only, like, if you're like, yeah, man, like, uh, here, I want to host you, like, you can come in anytime, uh, or you can come in from this time, this, um, um, I can host you from this month to this month, I'm located here, please, serious inquiries only, okay? Uh, and then I'll consider it. I'll put it on my consideration list. Okay, and um, that would be kind of nice because I'm I'm not stopping this, folks, until the funds are together and the project's implemented. I, I like everything else is is phew, like there's blinders now here. It's like all right, like I, I you know, it's like everything else just got shut off. Uh, there's no there's no stopping here, folks. This is this is happening. Uh, and this is happening. So, however long it takes, and so I, I say based on my projections that, that it will take no longer than five years. The more, if you guys help more in whichever way, especially Patreon, one-time donations, etc. Okay, it can be faster. But I say if things are the way they are now and they remain, everything remains. How much money I make from the teaching remains the way it is. The, living in uh, the family house in Istanbul, in Doha, everything. 
you know, how much surplus I have each month coming in, etc., etc. It will not take more than five years. It will not take more than five years. Uh, but with more help we get, especially financial help, Patreon, PayPal, right? This can happen faster. Okay, and I'm in, I'm in no rush at all. Five years is nothing. I'm young and handsome, and I'll be even younger and handsomer come my 33rd, 33rd birthday. It'll be my 33rd. I'll be like, you know, when Jesus died on the cross, right? Uh, and, you know, there's no rush here. We're on the breatharian path. We're all immortals. We're probably going to, you know, as a breatharian, probably live, what, hundreds of years. I'm in no rush. Five years is nothing. Nothing in the grand in the grand scheme of this lifetime, let alone in terms of eternity. So five years, it will not take any longer. It will not take any longer than this. The more help we have, obviously the time the time goes down, uh, and and yeah, and you're helping yourself also because uh, you, you know this is place. I mean, it's not for, it's just for me. You know, it, it ultimately isn't just for me. It's for us as a community. Even if I do the lone wolf uh, version of it. There's the community house. That's for you guys. Uh, and I will not stop until that is also implemented, the community house part of the project. All right. So if you want to host me, Instagram me. Okay. DM me. Instagram, tell me I can host you from this time to this time. Please keep in mind that I am loud, that I am nosy, not nosy at all, actually. I, not, I, you do, I don't care what you do, right? Uh, noisy and uh yeah loud noisy and annoying can be really annoying actually to be to be around me uh and also you know describe to me the the the, the space right like spacious you know nice you know i mean if you live with your mom and your three other brothers and stuff like that i i so thank you very much i appreciate the sentiment but i mean you know you know like you're you know what i mean you know your, your mom and your family's there uh, but yeah, if you want to host me, just let me know on Instagram. I uh, will seriously consider it. Maybe if you could post me right now, instantly, don't be surprised to see me next month. Because I'm so pew, serious about this that as much as I love the sunshine here in the island, in the beautiful island, the sooner I can begin to, to increase the savings, because this is an, it's costing me right now. There's not much savings happening here. The sooner... I can get the savings for me, the better. So if you can host me instantly, let me know. You may see me next month. If I can get the savings and the surplus up and running, the sooner the better for me. The sooner the better. The more, the sooner the better. Uh, so let me know. Now, for even more serious inquiries, and again, please, even more serious inquiries for the other one. If you're interested to become a partner and you already have practical steps for it, meaning you already generate certain income, you've got a certain job, you use certain business, certain things, certain that, certain life circumstances. This resonates with you, you really wanna do it. Uh, you, you maybe even have some of the funds available now, you'll work, you'll work more, you'll do something. Again, if you are interested in becoming a partner in this, the budget is $50,000 USD. American dollars, that's the budget, that's the asking budget from each partner, okay? $50,000, $50,000,000, $50 Rush Hour fans will get the reference. So, message me on Instagram. Ultra serious inquiries only though. If I know a lot of you guys would love to do it, but you're young, you're in high school, or you're you're in your third year college or something, you don't have a job right now, things aren't as you know straightforward, etc. Uh, I understand. It took me probably 28 now. It took me 10 years to get to this point where I'm ready to do something like this. I'm 28 now. I get it. Okay, and I know you would love to do it, and and maybe one day you will. Maybe one day you will because. I, Again, this is the initial, 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 initial draft. I say four people max, but if things go really well, we might, you know, buy the whole jungle. You know, that's our jungle, you know, and just have a community of, who knows, 50 people, 60 people, 100, I mean, you may do it one day. So, but, you know, not the inquiries that I'm looking for, for are for people who, like, hey, man, like, I'm, 
I'm, I'm, I'm adding to my savings every month here. I got some funds. I really want to do this. Like the, when I heard about this idea, I just, it's, it's, I got this feeling. I really want to be part of this. I want to be a partner. Like, yes, I want to do this. I want to live off the land. I want to, you know, be sovereign. I want to live off the grid. You know, I want to live sustainably, self-sustainably, uh, self-sufficient and sustainable. Like, yes, yes. Because for me, it's like now the only option for me is like, I'm not going to do anything else. I've already done it all. I've, I've traveled here. I lived in resource on the beach, right? There's the beach. You see the beach right there. You know, I lived in the mountains, beautiful places. It's like, all right, now it's, all, it's like, what else am I going to do now? And I get to that point, they're like, all right, no choice. Alf, great. You know, so if you're at that point and you already have something right now practically being implemented at the moment, meaning you do generate certain income, you're in certain life circumstances, you you could do what you want, you could travel, or whatever, 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 you know, and you resonate, message me. Message me on Instagram and we'll have a talk. And uh, we'll do some uh, some type of video chat, okay? Uh, and uh, otherwise, there's you know I'm going ahead anyway with the project, the lone wolf version, right? I'm going ahead with it already, and I think this is good for you guys. Uh, the way I'm doing this is actually you know I have to say it's setting a good example. Is uh, you always want to act in a way independently, meaning if you've got a certain idea and you really want to do it and it resonates with your heart. You should always have an option where you're doing it alone and then have the other option where you're doing it with people and be just as happy and just as content with both. So right now, I'm not like partner or not. I really, to be honest, I really don't care. I really don't care because God bless. I'm in the right time, the right place, the right circumstances. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where I could do this on my own. I, I love the idea, I love the project, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my own. So there's no dependency there. You never wanna be dependent on anything external, okay? And and that's that's why I wanna set it this way, and that's why a partner comes in, you know, it's almost like part of a, the, the, the project is you wanna have as, just have as much land for you, for yourself as possible. Be in your own, because everybody wants, you know, we're one, but we're also unique. And so the way the doubt expresses, expresses differently. And so we don't want to bother. Nobody should be bothered, you see? Everyone should still be sovereign and independent in a way. And yet, yet one, that's the community house, okay? So yeah, if, you, if you're interested to be a partner and you have the, again, the, the funds, the vision, you're in the right place at the right time and you, you're like, man, light bulbs went in my head. I really want to do this. Then uh, talk to me. Just uh, DM me via Instagram. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, the hosting. If you want to host me, again, that, that, that'd be interesting, actually. Uh, that'd be interesting to, to, to uh, you know, to, to spend some time with, uh, with, with you guys. And, and uh, that'd be really cool. That'd be really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. So yeah, if you're up for the hosting thing, uh, maybe you can help that way. If that's how you want to help this uh, project. If not, just uh, enjoy the ride. Okay, so very, very, very sincere gratitude for the Patreons. Okay, for, for supporting this. Now you know, like, that, that, that you know you're contributing, like, financially directly here let's see maximum file size hmm, hopefully it's still recording uh, now you know now you know so uh, you're you're helping so thank you that's I mean that's the, the money now is going towards this that the money you put in patreon is literally all of it going towards this project okay so if you want to maybe support that way you go to patreon you become a, a part of the family the family maybe a couple of bucks a month uh, is all that is asked. If you want to be a family member, you could contribute more, obviously. If you want to make one-time donations on PayPal and maybe you feel generous, I remember Luke, God bless your soul, when you, uh, you and you helped me tremendously. When I was leaving to Canada, he sent me $200 uh, donation on PayPal and I'll never forget that. And Luke, my friend, you are absolutely welcome to come and hang out in the community house and hang out in the premise anytime man I won't forget these things won't forget these things and hopefully you're watching this video 
uh, maybe maybe if you want to do it that way too on PayPal like you say well okay I will put in you know I will put in whatever you know whatever 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 dollar two dollars five hundred dollars two thousand dollars maybe you just won the lottery and you say well here fifty thousand dollars here Saeed you could do the project right now go ahead God bless your soul you know so there's that option too I will begin to emphasize this more okay I will bring up the project more and stuff because I do feel like you know when people know where the where that the money is going also it'll encourage them more to contribute uh, and we're here to stay folks okay five years the project will not take more than five years to implement because if everything stays the way it is now it'll take about five years again unless I get a fifty thousand dollar donation tomorrow I wake up and see fifty thousand dollars and I book a flight to Nicaragua and Ecuador and I travel around South America and in six months I'm, uh, we, we're getting the community house running up. All right. So it's very exciting. And uh, yeah, special thanks to the Patreons, to everybody that ever supported via Patreon or the PayPal donations. And uh, that's about it. And until next time. May the force be with you.